What's up everyone, this is VHS DVD Blu-ray Previews Australia here and today I'm going to be doing a 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray update and unbo unboxing for November 26, 2023 So yeah, got one Blu-ray, two free 4Ks, one's a steel book and two 4Ks on two for 40 at JB on the 30% off um, I also went to see Santa today, told him what I want for Christmas, so yeah. I did get some other stuff recently, but at the moment I'm actually, some of my stuff is actually currently packed. I'm not getting rid of any, most of it I'm not getting rid of, I'm keeping, but it's just, it, I am still keeping my collection the way it is, but don't worry, I will keep all my great stuff and I'll do my collection overview around probably January next year most likely so yeah I just need I just need to have some time to pack them all and arrange them all again because it's, it's it's not easy at all it's it's pretty difficult but I'm I've still got some stuff to unbox right here so anyway start two four k's and all the VHSs, I won't ask, I won't ask which is where, where for everything, but, that I packed, but, it's just a lot of my room, because there are painters coming to my house, and they, my, and the walls need to be painted, in a few, like tomorrow, so yeah. So yeah, first one, I got Cool Hand Luke, 4 k HD Blu-ray copy. Rated M contains violence, has the WB100 sticker. So there's the front, spine, and all the 4Ks, as you can tell, are Warner Brothers ones. Nineteen sixty-seven film, 2023 4K. Scott Paul Newman, never saw this movie, but I will check it out. I might try to save that sticker. Celebrating every story. Alright. Is it not coming off? Oh. Got it. Right. Here we go. It's the interior case again. Yeah. Inside. All right. We have some pretty cool disc art on here. We have the uh, 4K Ultra HD disc, stark blue, and then you have a Blu-ray disc. It's just the white blue. It reminds me of some other Blu-ray discs that like the ones that don't really have anything like Universal Sony ones and Disney. But this time you actually do have something pretty interesting. That's what Warner Brothers do. Okay, next up, a movie I haven't got you into today. I have Godzilla vs. Kong in the 1998 Godzilla. I have Godzilla 2 King of the Monsters, 4K Blu-ray. Still yet to watch this movie. There's the side and the back. Long live the king. Warner Brothers Pictures new code produced by Legendary Pictures. The specifications right there still has Dolby Atmos. Right. Still, the original release has HDR10 plus on there. There's the full character HD. That's aqua green color. And then you have the Blu ray, which is just dark blue, all with white writing. Yeah, I really like that. Now for the steelbook. Even though this movie did get review that didn't get good really good ratings but I wanted to get this steel book anyway because it's 
a lot of the other big releases I'm gonna get for Christmas though, but this is the one I just had to get today. I was gonna get Dungeons and Dragons, but they didn't have the steel book, so I got this one instead. Met to the trench. As you can see it's already I already just un unboxed it. So it comes with the 4K and the Blu-ray. The regular 4K does not come with the Blu-ray, so this is why I got this steel book. Same thing as the other steel books. They do. For now on, most of the time I probably will be getting the Warner by the steel books. Or if I get them on 4K. There's the front. Very really glossy. Side and the back. Back for seconds. Warner well, Brothers Pictures and Movie Coverage is by Shanghai CMC Pictures and Gravity Pictures International. We have some cool specifications right there. Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. The current logo. And you have a few special features. But yeah. I, I'm just going to leave that there. I'm not going to play with it anymore. So, yeah, look at that. Just beautiful. Still have the cool colours. I will probably check this out, and I do plan on getting the first movie. <laughs> it says, Shark Sighted Today. Enter water at your own risk. This is made in Denmark. Right. Hmm. Right. The 4K Ultra HD. A lot of 4K Ultra HDs are black for Warner Brothers. And then this ocean blue colour, um, Blu-ray. Simple, I like that. Then you have the big Megalodon, but you do see Jason Statham riding the um, jet on the water there. And I see why he has the arrows and he still has the knives to kill the, the weapon, the sharks and all that, the weapons. So this is a great steelbook, especially to have for the Warner Brothers collection. One day next year I will do some steelbook collection, a steelbook collection video, both 4K and Blu-ray. But I'm pretty sure you saw my 4K Blu-ray collection. Now the Blu-ray I got is, because it was pretty cheap, I just went ahead and got Talk To Me. Got, I think this movie got great, amazing, um, it was critically acclaimed, so I just picked it up. It's another, one of those umbrella Blu-rays that comes in a clear case like one of my other ones. There's the front, spine, profile picture of the hand, and the back. The best, most intense horror movie I've enjoyed in years. This is an A24 movie. This is going to go to South Australia Film Corporation, LA Film Festival, Headgear Films, Metro Technology, Causeaway Films, and Maslow Entertainment. Yeah, I'm fine with the Blu-ray instead of the 4K. I think the Steelbook's one out, but it's okay if I get the Blu-ray. I had the DVD, but I thought why not just get Blu-ray to see what the quality is like. Because when you get moving some Blu-ray, it's still, it's, to this day, it still is sharp. For some reason on this one, it doesn't have the Australian, the recommended, for the accompanied um, MA thing on the back. Yeah. Still has it fully opened. Right. There is the disc. You do have some artwork this time. Just like the US release. The same as front, but reverse, but no rating there but I still like this one 
and I hope you enjoyed my 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray update and unboxing for um and that was just a quick one for November 26, 2023. Bye.